What's up, everybody? This is HT, AK High Thinking, and uh, just here to apologize in advance for the audio problems. Um, you know what? I would just scrap it again and get rid of it all together, but you know what? I think this conversation uh, was so dope and necessary that uh, I actually decided to keep it around. So I uh, hope you all can uh, um, can enjoy this video to the best of your ability. Um, <laughs> if you're wearing the headphones, please, you know, uh, proceed with caution. And uh, just understand that this isn't our standard. This isn't like the norm for Chicago's black delegation. So just rest assured, uh, our, audio, our audio quality will be a whole lot better from here on out. And uh, I catch you on the flip side. Have you ever seen a little video going around about, I think I saw it yesterday, uh, about the little $14 album. Do we have a conversation about uh, I'm not being mad. Yeah, yeah. She's both, right? So I saw in the comments, right? And I'm reading the dudes, I'm reading the women comments. So everybody clowning the nigga because he made fourteen dollars now. He's not a man. He's not providing because he doesn't pay all the bills. Oh, because oh God, God, I got something to say about that. Uh, 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 please, girlfriend, <laughs> to go fifty fifty on right. See, the problem is these black people that's in the comments, right? Half the niggas in that didn't even have a daddy. They so they trying to tell you what a daddy's supposed to do and how he did. Mostly your parents, you know, your parents have to work, okay? Your grandma, most of you niggas' grandmothers did not sit on their fucking ass and did fucking work. Most people worked and they had a two parent household where they worked and paid bills. And this notion that a, that a black man sat back in the 50s and 60s, no, they didn't work and then it was other women they had to work because women got allowed to work and they wanted certain independence and make some goddamn money. Because people got to realize if you're not fucking rich, you need somebody else to make some more money because more money. It's always valid. What don't they <laughs> understand about this? I don't get it. I, don't, I man, I just want to. There's so much I can say about this, but I don't want to drag this so long. What do they think that this world, this current kind of world that we're living in now, with inflation, costs yes. are going up? It's impossible. The it's way impossible. that the way the jobs and stuff is set up now is you don't get as paid as nearly as much. We're, we're talking about in comparison to the money that was made then versus bills and stuff then versus the money that's made now versus bills and stuff now. What don't these motherfuckers get, these women and these people get that, that it takes a team to make it in this life that we're in now? It's like everybody is like expecting this social media lifestyle, this social media because relationship shit, and it's not realistic at all. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to finish off what I'm trying to say is you got these dudes who, you know, by God's grace, they get blessed or whatever. They work hard. They make it. And nothing to take away from them. But don't be a one-up nigga. Don't be the nigga that uh, make it. They look down on us. Yeah, that's how you know. that nigga. You be that nigga. You, 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 uh, you, you a low-ass nigga for that. Don't ever bring yourself up and look down on the next man. You sit up there telling this man you make $14 an hour. Don't you show him a game of how you got rich, nigga. You sit up there uh, so talking, down. talking down on him. Just whenever you make money in this lifetime as a man, don't never be a one up looking down on another nigga over a woman or anything like that. Cause it makes you look like a, a game goofy ass nigga. That's all I'm gonna do. We got an episode called Bitch Ass Niggas. That's what that's that's what they need to watch. I don't know the dude's yeah. name, but he's pretty famous for pandering to women and shit like that in that nature. But the problem is the people in this comments, they're so uneducated. People gotta understand black people have really only been free in this country for like sixty fucking years. So for niggas that's only been really educated for 60 motherfucking years, we're doing a hell of a good job. But for some reason, black people feel like they've been winning as long as white people been fucking with it, and they're supposed to be where the fuck they at. And they're they comparing their lives to white people. Yeah. And, the, and the simple fact, yes, you have some white women that gets to stay home, they get to sit on the fucking couch, and they may not make all the money. That's true. But we're not, we have never been in that position to do that. And even when your granddaddy or your great granddaddy did that shit, the nigga worked like 16 hours fucking a day. Nobody wants to fucking do that shit. Those niggas died in like 45 to 50 because they were stressed the fuck out because they was working 16 hours a day. So you keep telling me what you fucking do in the house is fucking slavery. No, sitting on your fucking ass and taking care of the kids is not fucking slavery. But a nigga working 16 hours a day to so you can sit on your fucking ass to and take care of the kids and I feed you motherfuckers, that's slavery to me, bitch. Nobody told you. It's only 24 hours in a day. If I give you 16, there is nothing left for me. And back then, that's why the motherfuckers drunk and came home and beat the shit out of women. You know, my mom talked about that. Because they was fucking mad. 
And let's, right. not, let's not forget them wives were lonely as hell too. So yeah. They was cheating on them. Guys. And they was, and they was and unhappy. It's always better when you work together. I don't give a fuck. Every you time. All day. Yeah. The money don't fall out the fucking sky because the nigga go get a fucking job yeah. working here, working there. What do you want to think? Like every man is an entrepreneur or every motherfucker is going to somehow get rich. It just don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? If the man is out here trying to make it happen, work his little minimum wage job or working whatever job he wants, he's still trying to pay all the bills and do all that for you and he's driving himself fucking crazy and bitch can't even cook or clean or nothing, you got the game fucking wrong. It's all wrong. We so divided amongst all of these talking points and unnecessary talking points of 50-50 and what yeah. well, she should do and what he should do. How about we just work together? So I mean, the funny part is because a lot of people looking at the lives of other people and being envious. This is the problem. So and the problem is everybody's life is not like that because you see one Joe's with a million views. You see how all white women are not living like that. White women go to fuck to work just like how you go to work. But there are some that, that live that way. But we're not at that level yet. But when we get there, you can, you can reap the fruits of that benefit. Yeah. But until then, motherfuckers got to work. Jeff Bezos' wife, she worked till the nigga got to where he was at. She wasn't sitting on the fucking couch being fucking lazy. But y'all want to sit and fucking be lazy. That's that's that, that's called spade what it is. Y'all believe taking care of the children is, is, is not the same. I'm not saying it's not a hard job. I'm not taking away from that. I'm not saying it. But when you got to go out and work for somebody else, all day telling you what the fuck to do. Nobody's telling you what to do here. This is your kingdom. This is your place of domain. You control this motherfucker. I got to go out here and go to work for somebody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, some people say you got to go be your own boss. You can try to, but everybody's not built to be a boss. That's some true. people are meant to be workers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Most people are meant to be yeah. workers. And that's because of the way American society trains you. They don't train you to be a motherfucking boss. They train you to be a fucking worker. So you telling a motherfucker to be a boss, his whole fucking license, he was two, they were trying to be a fucking worker act. I get here and now you trying to tell me to be a boss. You know how long it took me to learn how to be a fucking worker act? You know what I'm saying? But I'm supposed to get here and all of a sudden because this is what you want and you want these aspirations. And then these people be killing me because y'all, that is the job you're talking about ain't around. They not those guys. That's a fucking lie. Now let's be clear. Y'all are fucking lying. All these black women be talking about you're lying. Your daddy cheated on your mother, treated her like shit. That's what happened. <laughs> That's what the fuck happened. Stop lying and saying my daddy did this and that. No, he didn't. Your granddaddy did, did this. this. Your granddaddy had like fucking 16 other bitches besides your grandmother. Bro, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Why, why didn't have to go? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> You had some guys that do that, and that's the problem. Those are exceptions to the rule. Yeah. That was not the dominant thing that happened. That's what they show on fucking television, but that's the problem. You motherfuckers see what you see on television to be real. That's a scripted life, and it's supposed to project what they want to project. That is not the reality of certain situations in everyday life. Chinese women work. Everybody works. Mexican women work. Some don't, some do. That's how it goes. Some black women work, some don't. Depend on what type of man you get, and that's, and that's okay. But you can't down the next person because they're not living like you. Everybody can't be fucking rich. If yeah. would, the world would be fucked up. It, it won't be no bad. Because the problem is somebody has to be high, somebody has to be low to do the dirty shit jobs, and somebody got to do the jobs that everybody wants. That's just how it goes. Everybody will never be fucking equal in this world. But the problem is people think that everybody can be right here. But that's impossible. It's always going to be a high and low. That's just what it is. Yeah. Nothing but. Uh, no, uh, yeah, nothing said, nothing said about that one. Uh, that shit pissed me off. That video, I, I'm definitely real. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I really don't read comedy. I'm real, like, my honey. I'm just scrolling. They all say the same shit. All the same shit. One dude that has some sense, but they all stupid. They all so fucking stupid. They think they're intelligent. They all fucking stupid. Y'all, none of you bitches had a daddy. I know none of you did. I know you did. Criminal with the shit that they be saying, man. Yeah. Yeah, like the dads would definitely, uh, dads would definitely help round out a household when they when they're sober, when they're a uh, man of honor, when they're men of empathy and and respect and value and stuff like that. Good men, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of uh, the system, um, and and not gonna lie to you, a lot of a lot of, not not again, not to say that white supremacists did all of it, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we do we can't we do need to take uh take account of being for our own access to. Uh, for a good, you know, portion, 
But at the same time, like, just understand that other, other coaches did not have these, uh, these same struggles coming up. And then other coaches across the seas with, um, how, to, how should I say, uh, different struggles have completely different problems. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to, like, a lot of, there's a growing population of women that, um, that believe that, uh, uh, we don't need black men to have black babies or, or babies with melanated skin. Well, okay, what, what's your, what, what other options do you have? You, if you, you can go get your Indian man all you want, but you are, are you going to just pretend like they don't have a completely different culture, a completely different system that doesn't necessarily give you the freedom that you have in America? I mean, they couldn't even go get the Indian man because they don't want you because you're not of their culture. You know that that chi- that uh, that cheesecake lady, that was an Indian dude. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And uh, even though he, he was a rarity, you know what I'm saying? But his family, it is gonna be a complete. It's gonna be him coming from India. It's a completely different story. You know what I'm saying? And he gonna be he gonna be in for a rude awakening when he, when he realizes this woman that was looking for a provider, as she as she put it, is not gonna be exactly what she what he what uh, what he. She's not gonna be what exactly what, uh, uh, what he expected her to be because what he expected is a, a woman, uh, feminine friendly, like the whole all you know the whole Kevin Samuels talking points and all that stuff. He expects her to be a certain way. To uh, uh, he want he expects her to be a woman from uh, uh, that ex uh, uh, in this culture, especially when he's bringing all of that value to the relationship. But when you deal with a woman that believes that she is the value, just her, her existence is value equivalent to what he's offering her. It's that that's when we got that's when we have a bit of an issue. You know what I'm saying? But that, I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, uh, digressing a bit. All, uh, all I'm trying to say is um, uh, we can't. Pretend that there's uh we don't need each other. Like they they trying to say oh we can still have melanated melanated babies, uh because uh there's million there's other melanated people besides black people. Lie to yourself if you want to because black uh black men are the head honchos and uh and appreciated women of uh, of various uh you know bodily stru- structures and stuff like that. We the ones that love the, the uh, thick women. We started that that whole notion of. Oh, she thick, you know what I'm saying? Or at the very least, appreciating uh, 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 yeah, my bigger women. Used to fat shame the shit out of women back in the day. She could be about a hundred pounds. You fat, bitch. Exactly. You fat. Look at that. You fat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but black people did. We, but for the uh, for the most part, black people appreciate uh, 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 a lot of it because we know what goes into motherhood and what happens to, the, to black women. I mean, going from starting from uh, the, the the simple fact that. A lot of women just don't have the opportunity to work out like uh, like other nationalities do because of the wealth uh, imbalances, but also just because um, but also because uh, uh, the, the motherhood is stuff like that. What happens to women's bodies and stuff like that? It, 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 a lot of, a lot of goes into it. Not that not that again. Not to excuse anybody. Not to excuse anybody for not working out. Everybody work out. Don't let this be an excuse to not work out. But all I'm trying to all I'm trying to say is uh, there's a lot to appreciate. Uh, black men bring a lot. Uh, I'm sorry. Black men appreciate you way more than anybody anybody else in this entire world, and don't you ever forget? I want you don't you ever forget that you can make the excuse, you can make the argument that all oh, black men are, are married out at, at the highest rate of anybody else. Well, put it this way: black, unfortunately, black women are the least married in this uh, in, in the uh, uh, in the nation right now. And guess who's marrying them the most? Black men, and it's and it's always going to be that way. Black men love black women. And so let's, uh, we need to cut out all of this division. We need to cut out all of this uh, uh, back and forth with the, the whole gender world, all this bullshit. Like, like we both are have problems in our own rights. But, and we and it's good that we hold each other accountable. But we cannot hold each other accountable without the empathy to, to properly cite what exactly is going on and why it's happening. And we need to also cite just how much accountability needs to be allocated to, uh, to every individual person. Because again, let's not forget that there's a whole system that uh, that's, part- that's, uh, that's uh, participating in the uh, pipeline of black people. And, and, uh, and, uh, and, I'm not, and it's not just to say uh, it's forming our, the, way, the way that we think or the way that we act. But it's, it's, it's forming, I mean, the culture as a whole, you know what I'm saying? And, but black people are actually forget Black people are forgetting about the system just as much as every other uh, nationality is. And, th- and the point of this podcast is just to remind everybody what, uh, what's going, what actually is going on and just how much, uh, and, uh, just how much, how, how should I put this? And to, to remind everybody that the spotlight needs to be shined on, uh, on other people outside of us that, uh, that participate and each individual's uh, uh, degeneracy.